Hi, welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike, and today we're going to be smuttering some turkey necks. I want to show you what's in the ingredients because there's quite a few things here. Now this is about four and a half pounds of turkey necks and I cleaned some of them. I didn't clean a few because I'm going to show you how to do that. It's an important step, but come on over, get a little closer and let me show you what all is in this recipe. And before you go, before we zoom in, I just want you to know everything will be in the description. So don't worry about it. It'll all be there and don't panic. It's easy to do. Over here, we have four and a half pounds of turkey necks. We have 16 ounces of baby Bella mushrooms. And I can tell you we have onion, bell pepper, celery, parsley, garlic. We also have green onion and flour. And we do have some granulated things, you know, like granulated garlic, onion, uh, poultry seasoning, some paprika. We have salt and pepper and some sweet basil, and some sherry wine. And, and of course, what you see here is all the junk that's been cleaned off of the turkey necks already. Uh, I know it's disgusting, but I wanted to show you this is what's coming off. I don't think you want to put that in your pot. So let's get started by cleaning the turkey necks. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. We really need your subscription. Okay, so you notice that this turkey neck has a lot of fat on it, a lot of skin. And I'm going to roll it around, and you see some of this is silver skin. You can pull it up a little bit. So this is what I like to do. I like to just get a nice sharp knife. It's got a nice pointy edge to it. And I just nice, uh, easily just slice through that, take my time get rid of all of that and then I'll I'll come over here and I'll pull that skin up a little bit you got to jab your knife in be careful yeah now I don't know if you can see this but I'm gonna keep my knife flat against the neck and pull and cut and as I do let me let me come back with this and, and as I do, and I just give it a little pull, and I'm pushing against the neck. I don't know if you could see that, but you just pull the skin, and look, everything comes off. And now, it's pretty clean. And any little thing hanging on the end, hey, leave it on. No problem. Now, I kept these other two because I wanted to show this one in particular. Okay, this is how it came out of the package. And there's a little silver skin on it, not bad. Do you really need to get rid of that? Not really. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's gonna cook off, okay? Um, if you want to, you can work at it and remove it. Um, but you don't really need to remove all of that. It's, it's just very minimal and, and it's gonna cook off. So I'm gonna put that over here. Now, this one is kind of scraggly looking. You know, you got some pieces hanging and, and uh, you know, it looks kind of, <laughs> kind of scraggly looking. So what I'm gonna do is just cut underneath there and once again, push my knife against it. And that way it gives me an opportunity to pull away from the blade and as I, as I pull and push, all of this comes off. And, you know, if, if there's a little bit left on, it's really not that big of a deal. But this is an important step because I think it's important to clean up your turkey wings. Not tur I always say turkey wings, turkey necks. Just clean up those turkey necks a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with it. And now let's go on to browning and seasoning. I wanted to go ahead and show you how I prepare the mushrooms before we go on to seasoning the turkey necks. So here you have a little stem, it's loose. You can go ahead and just chop that up and we're gonna save that, put that in the mix. Here, 
I feel if the mushrooms are thick enough that if someone doesn't particularly care for mushrooms, they can see them enough to take them out. So you can flip it over like this little one, just cut it right in half and save that. This one is on the borderline. You can, I don't know, I'm just gonna cut it in half too. It's gonna shrink up. And then here, one, two, maybe three cuts. And here, one, two, three, and four. They're still kind of thick. They're, they're gonna shrink up, but you know, you'll still be able to see them. And that's really why I'm doing this because I wanted you to see how I cut the mushrooms. Well, we're here with our turkey necks and we need to start cooking. So we're gonna take a little salt and we're gonna put salt and pepper on all of these just a little bit. So that's a little salt and then, oh, not that. This is my pepper right here. A little salt and pepper on your turkey necks. That's the first part of your process. Alrighty, and now we're going to put a little oil in our skillet. I already had this skillet heating up a little bit. And put a nice generous amount of oil in like that. And I'm turn the heat up just a touch. And now I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of butter. You know what, if you don't measure it exactly right, you know, the, your house isn't gonna blow up, I promise you. Okay. So as you can tell, the butter is melting nicely and we're gonna wait for that to happen. And we have a medium high heat and we're going in with turkey necks. So if you have a lot of turkey necks, you're gonna do a few batches. You don't wanna overcrowd the, the pot unless you have a good burner, keep up with the heat. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a little bit more salt. And a little bit more pepper. So what we are doing now is browning. And now look, these are gonna cook in an oven for two and a half to three hours to get them nice and tender. But you do wanna get them brown and I mean, they don't have to have a crispy outer coating, not that bad, but brown them off a little bit. When I get these babies browned, I'm gonna show you what they look like. When we get finished with these turkey necks, we're gonna use all that flavor that's in that pot to saute our onions and the mushrooms. It's gonna be delicious, so we don't wanna get rid of any of that. And I do need to finish up with this. I'm just gonna flip them over and let them brown on the other side. The small ones always go faster than the big ones. You just have to watch it, pay attention to it, and when it's finished, on with the onions. Well, the turkey necks are all finished now. I'm taking them out. And I'm going to go right in with my onions. Now, I put all of this together but I'm gonna scoop out as much of the onion as I can. And I'll probably scoop out a little bell pepper and a little celery, but that's okay. It's not a problem. Okay, so we're going to saute the onions and uh, whatever little bell pepper and celery's in there. And you see how brown that looks now? Didn't take long, and you know it's because there's a lot of fond in the bottom of the pot. 
and that's all going to deglaze. But right now, we're going to go in with our mushrooms, and we're going to let the mushrooms cook down. But we have to stir. So I'm stirring to get all the mushrooms coated with that butter and oil and all the flavor from the turkey necks. And we're just going to give this a couple of minutes so that they can soften up and release some of their liquids. So believe me, it'll be a couple of minutes before we go on to putting in the other veggies. But I'm gonna keep stirring. And if you're afraid that that is going to burn, you can always add in a little bit of your cream sherry. And look at that, how it just came right up off of that pot. Look, watch. Oh, does that smell good? I'm gonna add in a little bit more. That's a cup and a half of some really good cream sherry. So you can see how it's deglazing. And that's fine, that's what we want. Now it's not time to add the sherry. I only did that just to deglaze it a little bit. But we're gonna we're going to let the mushrooms continue to release their liquids and continue stirring and it, we may be here for another three or four or five minutes. But I'll definitely let you see when I'm ready to go on with the next layer of veggies. Now while that is cooking, I'm going to take, a, now we already added salt and pepper if you remember, but I'm gonna take a little paprika, spread that around, some garlic and onion, Hey, I probably could have mixed all this together. And, you know, it's, it's all gonna go in later, so. But I'm putting all of this on. I wanna flavor up the turkey. And some poultry seasoning. Just like that. And I'll stir this around a little bit. And I'll flip over these turkey necks and I'll do the other side. Can you see the bottom of that pot? Look how clean it is. So all the juices, the liquids from the mushrooms have released and the onions are so brown and it's just now time to go in with the rest of this mix. So I'm gonna make a little hole and Put everything in. All the ingredients, all the amounts will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Of course, I can tell you it's two cups of chopped onions, one cup of each celery and bell pepper. And the bell peppers were beautiful at the grocery today. I can't believe how pretty they are. The farmers are doing a good job out there. I wish I could tell them. Turn the heat up just a little bit and I'm gonna to continue to stir, but I wanna let those veggies soften up. And while they are softening up, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little garlic, onion. I'm gonna put in is poultry seasoning. And I'm just gonna put all of that in because it was only two tablespoons to start. And I had two tablespoons of paprika, but I don't think I'm using all of that. I'm probably only gonna stay with one tablespoon. Some pepper, some salt. They only started off with one tablespoon each. And I don't wanna oversalt it because, you know, we're gonna go in with some chicken stock, which we haven't made yet, but we will. Uh, now this is about four toes of huge garlic. I mean, I was gonna go with like six toes, but they're too big. I mean, these babies are huge. So I'm going in with just four. I chopped up all of those. 
And this is a uh, green onion. And I think you know what green onion looks like. Here's some green onion right here. And what you see here are the bottoms, about up to that point right there. So about right there, and we'll just put everything in right there. Now, if you want to have a little fun, you can cut the roots off and go plant them, they'll grow. Pretty interesting. Here we have some sweet basil. Now we're not putting in any liquid right now because we're going to stir this around. And I'm going to let this get soft and maybe another couple of minutes, okay? Ooh, well, we have a third of a cup of flour. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I didn't make a big mess. How about that? And we're going to stir that flour in until it's completely invisible. We just keep stirring. It doesn't take that long to get that flour incorporated. However, you do not want to add any liquid until it is. If you are turning this around, holding it around, and you see that flour coated on the bottom, well, you know you're about ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is go in with our cream sherry. Now this is a cup and a half of cream sherry. By the way, I made this with Frank Davis, Frank and Mary Claire, when we were on WWL TV. And it was a lot of fun, and I'm telling you, there wasn't a neck left over when that show was over. And I'm sure some of those people who still work there remember that day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my chicken stock. I'm gonna stir it up real good so I don't have anything left on the bottom. Woo! There it goes. I'm just gonna pour it all in. Bring this up to a boil and while it's getting hot, I'm gonna go get my Worcestershire sauce. So let me go ahead and put in about maybe a tablespoon. Uh, three or four dashes and that's good enough. So you really don't know how thick it's going to be until it comes up to a boil. So we're gonna let it come up to a boil and check for thickness. And I always find that it gets a little thicker after it cooks for a couple of hours, so I'm not that concerned about how thick it is right now. I am going to put in some of my green onions and stir that in. I'm going to taste it for seasoning. That tastes really, really good. Uh, we like the color. It's brown enough. So you'll see it's starting to, to boil you'll go ahead and start putting your turkey necks in. Now be careful so that they don't splash because that is some hot stuff right there. Just be really careful and just put them right down in there like that. We'll get them all in in just a minute. So right now, what I'm gonna do is just turn this fire off and I'm gonna put the lid on and we're going to put it in the oven and it's going to be there for two and a half hours. And then I'm going to check those turkey necks. And I actually will let you see what that looks like in two and a half hours. So take a break and we'll see you in a couple of hours, okay? I hope you enjoyed some scenery from South Louisiana where we live. This is Bayou Bonfuca, the boat launch. And it's a great place. Don't forget, if you like our videos, please subscribe. Ooh, this just came out of the oven, those turkey necks.
was smoking hot, falling off the bone tender. And that gravy looks perfect. Man, that would go good over some wild rice or some good old long grain white rice. Doesn't matter. I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to mix in a little parsley. Okay. I'm going to put in a little parsley. And I'm also going to take some of these green onion tops. I'm going to cut those up. And I had a few in here, and I'm just going to put them all together. Look at that. And we'll save a few for my plate garnish, because I love green onion. Absolutely love green onion. We'll just leave those right there. And now it's time to get a couple of these turkey necks on my plate. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. Wow. Steaming hot. Mm -hmm. That looks so good. You have to let it cool down a little bit because those turkey necks will burn you up. So but anyway, I can't wait. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for it, you guys. Pull this apart. Look at the meat hanging off of this thing. Look, you have to excuse me if I make any noises because that's how you eat turkey necks, okay? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my. Mm. You don't eat turkey necks with a fork and a knife. You eat them with your fingers. That is absolutely scrumptious dilly umptious. It's so good, you really have to try it to believe it. Thank you guys for watching our video today. And we really appreciate you being with us here at the Sanders Kitchen. As I always say, have a great day, a great week, and God bless you.